Hello and welcome to Nintendo Everything. I'm Easy, and today we're going to be talking about Dominix Machina and why it's making me happy. <laughs> so there was recently an interview done by 4Gamer website with the producer of Damon X Machina. Now this interview gave us a whole bunch of new details, including stuff like the armor, there was a little bit of multiplayer, though not really, and then we learned a little bit about the story or the world of the game, if you will. And I kind of want to start on the world and what we learned. And I guess we can't really start talking about what we learned that's new without talking about some of the stuff that we already know. So first of all, the moon is basically falling apart and these big shards of the moon are coming down and slamming into the earth. Now, humans have found a way to actually gather a resource. This resource is called Femto, and they're gathering it out of these moon shards. So all's going well, and then the human race is starting to deplete now. It's starting to go extinct. Uh, but that's not because of this moon shards that are coming down and slamming into the earth. That's because of this, this Femto resource. What this resource is actually doing is it's turning the AI of the world crazy. So all these robots that you'll see that you see that you're defeating, these are actually robots that have been taken over, I guess, by this femto. So the humans, or what's left of them, is finding a place to hide. So a lot of them have gone apparently underground, and or there's this facility or big walled area or something like that um, that it sounds like that they're all hiding in, and, and whatever's left of the humans. But our character that we play as isn't actually one of these humans. They're a character called an outer or they're part of a group called the Outers. And, and what these Outers can actually do is they can harness the power of this Femto out of these crystals. Uh, and it's giving them the ability like, to, to control the mech that you kind of see in the game here. So it's not all good news because this resource that they're taking out of it, um, and when they're becoming these Outers, it's actually taken away part of their humanity and what makes them human. And that kind of plays back into the name itself. Now, back in the Treehouse live footage, we learned a little bit about the name. So, the name Damon X Machina, Damon X Machina, God, I've got to stop calling it Damon X Machina. It's basically a play on Deus Ex Machina. Now, this is apparently a saying. I'd, I'd never heard of it before until doing a little bit of research for this episode. But what Deus Ex Machina means is it's apparently a story that is seemingly unsolvable that all of a sudden just gets wrapped up. So, I guess you could call this basically every video game ever. Feel free to defend your favourite video game story in the comments below. <laughs> So where the play on Deus Ex Machina and, and Damon Ex Machina comes into it is it's something to do with the angels and demons theme of the game. So I guess maybe they're going for Demon Ex Machina and went with Damon or maybe there's some sort of meaning behind Damon that I don't understand. Anyway, that's the kind of play that they're going for. And you can kind of see that unfold in some of the footage that we early, like the, I think it was the E3 footage, the very first footage we saw. So in the treehouse footage, we actually seen a couple of the characters, or the NPCs, and one of them was named Crimson something, and one of them was named Diablo, and so they were kind of plays, or I think it was Crimson Lord, they were plays on basically demon names, I guess. Um, so I'm wondering how that plays out in the, in the full game, that could be really interesting. So now we move on to the new details we learned about the armor. Now this stuff is quite interesting, because first of all, we learned about, well, for those of you who don't know, picking up armor and weapons in the game is apparently going to play a big role in it. Like they actually said, this is the major part of the game is picking up items in the game to equip to yourself. And so what actually happens is that the robots that you're fighting around the world, they're going to drop their, their pieces of loot, so whether it be their weapons, um, and we learned from this interview that it's also going to be armor, and you can pick them up and equip them in the middle of battle. So the new pieces of armor that we learned about were the, there's going to be a headpiece, there's going to be a chest piece, as well as legs. And then you obviously have your weapons that we already knew about, but there's there's obviously one for each hand, there's one that goes on your shoulder, and then there's two in the back that can be swapped out, I think, for the ones in the hands. So we also learned a little bit about an extra part, though I don't know what it is. They didn't explain it in the interview, they said they're keeping it a secret for now, but if we watch some of the early footage, we might be able to get a little bit of an idea of what it could be. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure, because I've never played any of like the old Armored Core games or anything like that, so whether it could be something that we've seen in games before, um, that they're bringing forward into a game like this but what we actually see from the original e3 footage which i'll show you on screen here is there's a, there's a small scene where you actually see the character teleport forward and so it's making me wonder it, maybe this teleport is just one of the abilities that you can kind of pick up and equip to your character and there's different abilities or different things like that that you can actually pick up and equip and maybe that's the extra part that we're seeing or maybe it's something else if you guys have any other ideas let me know in the comments so one more thing we learned about armor was that the stuff that we actually pick up on the ground if we don't want to equip it straight away we can actually use it to repair i think parts of our weapons and parts of our armor that we've currently got equipped which seems like a good way to kind of keep you maintained if everything you're picking up is just not an upgrade for what you've got. So the last thing we learned a little bit about was the multiplayer. But as I said, we didn't really learn anything about it because they still said that they're figuring out how to implement it. Although they must be a little bit further along than we can imagine 
because if we look at the E3 footage, again, the Treehouse Live, they talk a little bit about the multiplayer and, and mentioning when they're in the hangar, so this is where you can customize your character, you can customize your mech, you choose what missions to go out on, etc. While you're in this hangar, there's actually a spot where your mech stands, and then there's four or three other spots around that, and that's where apparently the other mechs that you're playing with will be. So you can have all four, I guess, multiplayer characters all around you at the same time. Also, I'm thinking the multiplayer must be multiple switches uh, and it cannot possibly be one switch because there's just not enough screen real estate to hold more than one character on there. I wouldn't even say you could put two characters on the same switch. So I'm guessing this multiplayer mode, they're just working out whether they want to have it online or how to implement it online or whether it's just going to be local and that's something that they can get working. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's video. But before you go, I want to know how you're feeling about Damien X Machina. But, God, I can't get the word right for once. Damon X Machina, because I'm actually feeling really excited about it. At first, when I first watched the, like, the original E3 trailer, I saw it and I thought, wow, there is, this looks really cool. I'm loving the art style, this whole comic book style, but there's so much brown going on. And then I kind of re-watched that trailer and I noticed a little bit of colour kind of coming out in places that I didn't see in the first place. And I don't know why they didn't really show off more of this colour. Um, there's, there's this particular scene that has this all very white looking ground and it's absolutely vibrant red grass and so that's kind of making me think that I hope we see more places like this because that's the type of game that I could get really excited for. Either way I'm really looking forward to this game in 2019 so let me know how you're feeling. Now remember like button, subscribe button, you do you and for everything Nintendo. Stay tuned to Nintendo Everything.